You know what's dangerous? Besides going outside without a face mask. People with strong, uninformed opinions. Let me give you an example. I had somebody reach out yesterday saying, hey, I've lost 50 pounds over the last year, but I feel like it's going too slow. And I'm like, wow, that's incredible. Great job. Why do you think it's slow? And it came down to other people in his family, other people in his peer group were saying, well, don't you see what people do on The Biggest Loser? They lose 100 pounds, 120 pounds. Okay. One, it's The Biggest Loser. It's done for entertainment value. Two, pretty much everybody on The Biggest Loser gains the way back and more. So the truth is when it comes to losing body fat, you can only lose it so fast, particularly if you want to have a long-term sustainable plan to be able to being able to keep that weight off. And when it comes to fat loss, you can expect to lose one to 2% of your body weight in body fat any given week. So what does that translate to? Two to three pounds any given week. So if you look at a goal and say, hey, I've got to lose 20 pounds, divide that by two or three, that's going to give you a pretty good indication of how much body fat or how long it's going to take for you to be able to lose that weight. So understand that a lot of people have opinions about a lot of things that they don't really know anything about. And specifically when it comes to setting your expectations and knowing when you're making good progress, listening to those who aren't necessarily informed is a dangerous game. So make sure when you're taking advice that you're taking it from somebody who knows what they're talking about. And if you have questions about setting the right goals, especially when it comes to health, when it comes to losing weight, when it comes to building muscle, send me a message. I'm more than happy to help you out, give you the next step so you can continue to make progress. All right. Have a good Friday.